so many reasons because of the allowance and other things. Let me tell you, I went to teach in America. It was the best I could get at the time mm -hmm. because I was an immigrant. Mm -hmm. I went there, worked as a security guard for about one and a half years. Mm -hmm. wore my security clothes and the first day I wore one I remembered my watch mat and number wishing board because <laughs> now I was just like him <laughs> but as an immigrant I love the file getting paid four dollar fifty cents in about two years time I got a job okay as a teacher twenty two dollars an hour at that time and I felt like this is mm, the that, best thing amazing. that can happen to me but, yeah. but the rent is very high okay so after you pay everything <laughs> yeah. you see that you don't have much left but the interesting thing was that I became converted to become a teacher when I saw the needs in the school, and I saw the behavior of the children, and I saw, I remember I walked into my first substitute class. That is where a teacher um, leaves or um, is no longer there, and they put you into the classroom to cover for the teacher. And so I, I got my first teaching assignment. In the UK, they call a supply teacher. Mm -hmm. In America, they call I was a long-term substitute teacher for two months. In that class, there were some kids who were so terrible. I can't, we don't have enough time for me to talk about what I went through. It was like a battlefield. I go there in the morning, I, I, I kneel down and pray to my God that nothing bad happens to me in this class because the kids are about to hurt How you. old were they? Oh, you're talking about 14 year olds. And, and they, they want to hurt you with what? Do they have implements? One time I. These are kids who not pay attention to you, right? Yeah. And one day the kids were so quiet and silent, and I was wondering what was going on. Everybody was asking me to come and help them. I walked back to my seat and they planted a nail, a long one, on my, on my uh, uh, chair. Hoping that you sit on of it? Of course, to hurt me so that they can just laugh. Wow. So, so that class, at the end of the two months, a group of girls who used to sit together in the class and gave me a tough time wrote a note for me and they came and gave it to me and I, I read it and they said, um, we appreciate you. Because our class, I've had about 13 teachers. Everybody came and left. You are the only person who stayed. And during your period here, you showed that adults care. We have been abandoned by our parents. We live in a group home. And we're giving a tough time because we needed to fit in with the rest of our peers. And we appreciate how you have been supportive of us. I began to realize that not only is the money better than what I was doing, but this seems to me like a calling. And if I can get more students to begin to behave this way and appreciate me, and of course I excelled in American uh, education. How many years system. did you do it? Uh, ten years. Mm, a decade. I did it for ten years, and then I had a wonderful opportunity to develop my own schools. But that experience was invaluable. Uh, to oh, developing like, your own schools, yes. yes that after that, after the that. ten yeah. years. And we know about that. Yeah. So what's happened to those schools you had? Are they still there? Oh, yeah. And interestingly, somebody from Presec is in charge of it. Oh, I see. Yeah. He's looking after your schools in yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah, he's the CEO now. Ah, I yeah, see. Yeah, he's on Presec. Uh, Paul Kaite, he did um, engineering at KMUST and became a banker. Oh, I see. And now he's done his PhD.